touching, moving. I'm consumed by your passion. No, honestly, I don't give a fuck. Why should I? What an absolute waste of time. Well, for me, for you, I guess it doesn't really matter now, does it? Let me, uh, explain something to you, Ben. I'm a busy man. Except, I'm busy with certain other things. I'm not busy with a wife and a kid. I'm busy with my deals. I'm busy looking out for my own ass. So, before you preach about all your good self-righteous values, let me explain to you what I'm about, okay? You may not understand what it's like, or maybe you do, but I grew up on rough times. I had to look out for myself because I was the only one I could count on. And you can have your wife, you can have your kids, you can have your family. That's all fine and dandy. But when it comes down to it, the only one you can rely on is yourself. And that's what I've done pretty much my whole life. And, uh, you gotta understand. I'm not doing all the things that I do just for self-amusement. Do them because I'm watching out for my own ass. You should really think about that. What are you doing in your daily life? You're looking out for yourself. You, in your case, you're looking out for your wife and kid, and that's all right. But you know what? Your wife got in my way. Which is bad luck, that's all. I don't seek out people to kill. Hell, it doesn't really matter to me whether someone lives or dies, but when someone gets in my way, they have to die. Simple as that. Your wife was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Now, as far as your daughter, you want to bitch at me about your innocent little girl? Let me explain something to you that you should already know. I understand you're overwhelmed with your sadness and you don't see things clearly. But while I'm pretty much in control and where I need to be right now, I still have things that I have to deal with. I still have bullshit that I have to deal with all the time. That includes your little uh, police. I could do without as many run-ins with the police as possible. So, when I have to kill someone, it helps to cover up as many tracks as I can. Your little girl was one of those obstacles. You see, if I kill your wife and leave your child alive, that's a hurdle. That's a witness. And children are very dangerous witnesses, wouldn't you agree? A child will believe anything. A child will say anything. A child will pretty much do anything. That's pretty dangerous. Because in the courtroom, what it really boils down to is who's the bad guy or who the child thinks is the bad guy. In some cases, it's going to be this man killed someone. And in other cases, it's gonna be let's make a jury think that this man killed someone. Which is the more difficult case? Well, I think you can figure that one out. You're a cop. So, that just puts away one item on my list. So maybe you understand now. I didn't want to kill your daughter, but I will do whatever has to be done. Simple as that. Now, on to something a little more drastic. Did I hear you correctly when you say, you're gonna come up here? You're gonna come up here and weed through all my guys and get to me? I have 122 men in this building and around this building total. 122. And you think you're going to get around them? I've personally trained these men myself. I was in the military. And I have a whole lot of other experience. 
I'm not just some fucking fruit sitting up here with money and protection who thinks he's big shit. I am big shit. If you want to try to kill 122 men and think you can and think you can walk into my fucking office, then go right ahead, asshole. You won't make it within 10 feet of this place. And even if you do, you want to talk about you have no reason to live? You want to talk about me giving you a motivation? Well, good. If you can manage and you say you've got nothing else left to live for, fine. If you somehow manage to show up here and kill all 122 of my men, and you walk through my door and you feel you have no reason to live and you want to die, that's good, because I'll gladly oblige. If you walk through my door, good. Except the result's gonna be a little different. It's gonna be me with a gun to your head. I'll pull out my Desert Eagle and I'll put it right in front of the door and the second you walk in, your brains will be splattered all over the wall, you piece of shit. There will be no death for anyone except you. Hell, I almost hope you do kill all of my men. It'll be worth it just to blow your fucking brains out. And when it comes down to it, everything that you said about me, all the time you've wasted, and your challenge, I gotta say, I, I think I regret killing your wife and your kid. Well, I didn't kill myself. I have people to take care of that for me. But I wish I could go back in time and tell my men, no, don't do it. You know why? So I could do it myself. So that I could bind you and then make you watch as I hold your daughter and your wife in front of you. Pull a gun to both their heads and pull the fucking triggers and watch their brains splatter all over the wall. And then you would know just who the fuck I am. In fact, it's almost a choice. Would I have rather killed you in front of your wife and child, or would I have rather kill your wife and child in front of you? Do you get me? Why do I do what I do? I will do whatever is necessary to protect my own ass, because I've gone too long suffering. No one will ever stop me again and anyone who interferes with anything i'm involved with will die simple as that so you can take your self-righteous views and your idealistic bullshit and shove it up your ass so come on cocksucker come up to my mansion and you see what happens And when you do, be prepared. I won't make things easier for you, but I hope you do get through all 122 of them, just so I can finish the job myself. So please, be a man of your word. I'll be waiting.